everyone, I'm trainer Amy Jo with Athlean XX for Women and today we're talking about do you have to quit carbs, do you have to quit eating carbs to lose weight? And no, in fact, you do not. It's actually the opposite. You need to be eating carbohydrates to lose weight. And the reason being is they give you energy, they help sustain you throughout the day, they help push you through a high intense workout. If we don't have enough carbohydrates, it's very hard to have a high um, level of intensity during your workout, which means you won't burn as many calories. So we want to make sure we have enough carbohydrates for that reason, and also it aids in recovery. And recovery is a big part of being able to work out the next day and recovering um, soreness, recovering muscle cells from beating them down after your weight training. So the first one that I want to show you is making sure that they are the right kind of carbs though. So brown rice, quinoa, barley, any rice is going to actually be more of a performance carbohydrate. So it doesn't have tons of fiber in it, but it's going to supply your muscle cells with recovery and keep your um, glucose levels at a good range. Also fruit, any fruit is a great one to have even post-workout because it does have um, a little more sugars in it. So we want to make sure that carbohydrates are a little bit higher uh, post-workout and that's when your metabolism is revving. So that's a great time to involve more carbohydrates. One other thing is maybe we don't always think about our vegetables are carbo carbohydrates. They don't have a lot in them, but they also have, you know, our fiber in them. They, but they are a carbohydrate, so we don't want to forget that when we're doing a cup of vegetables, it has about 7 to 10 grams of carbohydrates. So if you're having a lot of vegetables at dinner and just a protein and you're thinking, oh, I, I ate low carb, well, you know, it still does add up. Three cups of vegetables could almost be nearly 30 to 35 grams of carbohydrates. So, which is not a bad thing, it's just uh, when you're calculating, maybe you're adding rice as well then. So if you're doing three cups, of vegetables and a whole cup of rice, then you could be potentially be uh, hitting 100 grams of carbs and you're not even realizing it because you're not calculating the vegetables. So there we have it. The other one is, and you probably are thinking, why does she have a fat out there? Well, this is peanut butter and these um, companies, obviously I don't have any affiliate with, I'm just using them as examples, but peanut butter has carbs in them. It has six grams of carbs for every two tablespoons. So if you had, let's say, four tablespoons in a day, you're still wanting to make sure you're including those 12 grams of carbohydrates. So don't forget to read labels and understand where carbohydrates are coming from, making sure we are getting the right kind of carbs to help replenish our body and keep our blood sugar levels at an even, um, stable pace. See also, the other thing is, if you're having a rest day, it's a good time to reduce carbohydrates just a little bit because you're not really working out as hard. So that would be maybe when you would incorporate more vegetables and um, more fruit because they do have the, um, excuse me, fiber in them as well. So just a few tips so you're not afraid to consume carbohydrates to lose weight. If you have more tips for everyone, please comment below, share with us, ask any questions so we can all reach that same goal of being the healthiest we can be. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.